another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, and we are playing some more golf with your friends. Yeah. <laughs> that was a cough sneeze. <laughs> Jesus, it didn't yeah. sound like either one. Exactly. Nice, <laughs> that's, that's what happens when you mix your... Uh, Fluids? Exclamations. Ooh. I've mixed some exclamations before. Like, uh, I've, like, I've fart sneezed. Definitely have fart sneezed before, or sneezed so hard that you fart. I was gonna say, I've sneezed farted more than I've fart sneezed. <laughs> like, usually the sneeze causes the fart, not the fart oh, causes the sneeze. Oh, okay, so there's a difference. Okay. Well, yeah, because you sneeze so hard you fart, you hardly ever fart, fart so, so hard you sneeze. sneeze. <laughs> right? Dude, oh, there's the hole. That's, that's, that's cute. That's a, that's a whole journey right there. Yeah, dude, dude it's a... Uh, yeah, dude, I've, I've coughed so hard I pooed. <laughs> no, that's not that one. Like, but I think we've all done the thing where you like fart, uh, fart so fart so hard, <laughs> yeah. Fart so hard you shart. Yeah, fart so hard you shart, dude. That's usually because your stomach's up so Dude, uh, sharding is not a game. I'm gonna tell you right <laughs> no, now. It's, no, <laughs> it it's not definitely a game. not a game, dude. I'm gonna tell you as an as an, as a grown man, I have no problem telling you that I've sharded. Not in like the near, 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 near uh past, but definitely in the past. I think everybody has to. I mean, yeah, sharding's a part of life, dude. It's something that you have to learn that like you are not immune, you know? Well, you know what's funny about sharding Urgh. is sometimes like it's like you're having a day and you know you should go to the bathroom if you have to fart. Because, like, you're like, I've had an upset stomach all day. I've kind of had, like, some... I've been to the bathroom four times already. The worst is, like, the days where you're just, like, in the kitchen cooking, and you're like, good old day, and you're like... Oh, and you're like, whoa! <laughs> oh, what happened? <laughs> no, in a, in a, I think it's the fact that a shart always starts with, like, just, like, betrayal of trust. Like, you're trusting, <laughs> you're trusting your own butt. You're like, look, I, me and you, but we've grown up. You <laughs> we've know, been together every second of every day. I know you, you know me. You just got to fart. And then the fart turns into so much more. And that's that's the worst part, man, is that it, it's like your own body's betrayed you. Yeah, it really has. Dude. And you're just mad while you're sitting there cleaning up the mess, dude. Cause you it's got similar to Alzheimer's. <laughs> Wait, what? Your brain's been with you your whole life, and all of a sudden it betrays you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Except Fair for there's enough. no secretion in there. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, dude, I've you never can't secreted clean Alzheimer's right. off with detergent either. So <laughs> yeah, you can't just put some that. soap and water on Alzheimer's. Yeah, there's always that. Yeah, that's that's also fair. Oh, oh look at you, Daddy. regular old Jack Nicholson. Yeah, I don't know, man, but yeah, sharding is not a game. I'm gonna tell you right now. No, that is like, and like, God forbid, there's anybody else in like the vicinity. Mm, have you ever sharded in front of somebody? I I've sharded in the same room with somebody and then quickly left the vicinity so that they would never know. Yeah, yeah. Like they they will never know that I did it. Unless it was like your partner. My partner. Like your girlfriend. Oh, live-in yeah. partner, girlfriend. That's, that's funny. You're assuming that girls talk to me. That's 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 <laughs> adorable. <laughs> Fair, I guess. I am I literally I'm making just some told... unique uh, assumptions about your prowess. <laughs> I literally just told a shark story, and you're thinking, <laughs> funny. Dude, girls dig Dragon Masters, man. Where the hell am I supposed I to have go? No clue. Oh man, this hole is screwed, dude. <clears throat> I do wonder sometimes when I see people, and I'm sure everybody has like the oh, same, right there, that's dumb. Have the same sentiment. You like see somebody, and you're like, "How the hell are they married?" Yeah, I mean, I guess the, the old <coughs> ver the old verbiage goes, "There's somebody for everybody." I mean, I guess, dude, but like, geez. Yeah, dude. Like, I mean, like, there's two peas in a pod. It's yeah. like you know, like if you like to sit around and shark, maybe your girl does too. Yeah, you know what? That's honestly the truth. There's probably a girl out there that has, like, a shark fetish. <coughs> yeah, dude. I mean, girls like all sorts of guys, just like guys like all sorts of girls. And she's just waiting for her serial sharder boyfriend. <laughs> Do you have irritable bowel syndrome? Will you constantly <laughs> shart? <laughs> it's her Tinder profile, IBS only. 
call me? <laughs> oh my god, screw this hole, dude. <clears throat> That's what you normally this, do. This hole. <laughs> All right, this hole is giving me IBS. All right. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a. No, dude. Oh! Yeah, I didn't finish that one. 14! 12 master plus two. I'll take it, dude. Eek. I'll take it. All right, that's a good hole. <laughs> Best one yet. Yeah, but all in all, sharding is natural, but, you know, my condolences to anybody who sharded lately. What the hell is that, dude? Where are you going? I'm down, down to the, in the earliest round. Oh, there we go. I'm going down, down. Going downtown. Yeah, dude. I, uh... This, dude, this one time... I was uh Is this a shard story? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not about me though. Oh no. It, I was there. So I was with my <laughs> I, was <there>. <laughs> <laughs> I was with my mom's boyfriend at the time. Sure. She's not with him now. Sure. Um and we were going to the Jefferson County Fair. And he was like he was driving me there and I was like thirteen or something. And uh you, you we were going out there and like you had to get into line in your car and the line was just ridiculous because it's like the most hip hop hopping in thing in the in the county all right i'm on board and uh so we, we're in line for about eight minutes and all of a sudden he's like oh dude i gotta go to the bathroom and i was like oh yeah and like he's like no, no, no. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah i gotta go <laughs> and like so he's like he's holding like everything yeah. and he's like he's gr his knuckles are so white he's grabbing the steering so hard. <laughs> White a knuckle action. Dude. dude, and we pull into the parking lot. He immediately just pulls over into the yard of the like just in front of the bathroom and runs in. And he told me he had to rip off his underwear and leave the bathroom. What? Because he couldn't he like he's like, I got in there and a little bit came out before I got to the toilet. <laughs> and he's like, I do, and like he, and he couldn't take his pants all the way off, so he just like tore them and like put them in the, I don't know where he put them under the toilet or in the garbage or oh, whatever. No. So then he had to like free roam the whole time we were at the fair and just like jeans and no underwear. Free, free roam, <laughs> is that what we're calling? Yeah, it I don't know, dude. <laughs> no, um, wow, that is that is a bath bathroom problem. I witnessed right that story, dude. It was rough, man. I've never had to rip my underwear <laughs> off nope. and leave them somewhere. Nope. Like a common street hussy. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Like you just like yeah, I was gonna say something really nasty that isn't appropriate for our channel. No, yes, just not. like that. Dude. No, you can't control yourself. Dude, it's alright. <laughs> I can't, dude, I have such a dirty mouth. <laughs> uh, mine is bad too, man. Yeah. Uh, dude, sometimes the stuff that comes out of my mouth I'm just like, holy crap, dude. Why does anybody find me? Nice. Hell yeah, dude! I'll take it. Well, wait a minute. Right? <laughs> wait a second, dude. He, they, they just cucked you on that. Dude, this is rigged. More than the 2020 election. Ooh. This is rigged. No Trumpies on this channel. Dude. <laughs> there we go. There Fail. It is. They're like, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Get all right. It. Get in the hole, big guy. Big. Oh, that's nice, dude. Have you ever, uh, you ever been on a cruise ship before? Um, neither. I've never wet the bed on a cruise ship. I've never wet the bed. I've never been on a cruise ship. All three. I want to go on a cruise, dude, post-corona. I want one on a singles cruise. Dude, I don't... Not really. Not really. I just... I think a cruise might be okay, because I really just want to go to Jamaica. Are singles cruises just like double standards for like just a bunch of like single people oh they're std fest dude uh, just a bunch of just a bunch of feral young hussies getting their getting their uh freak on okay i just wanted to make sure because that's it's, that's kind of what i get from them it's just you can safely assume that everyone on the boat is available like oh, okay. uh a girl i worked with said she went on one before and then she was disappointed because everyone started hooking up the first night and she was left with nobody to hook up with. 
<laughs> I was like, I don't know if that's how it works, but I imagine if you hook, it's not like you just like cuff up and you're like, well, the whole trip, Tim's my boyfriend. Like, I don't think that's no, how it works. People but. definitely, I could definitely see people clicking out and like having like the trip boyfriend, please. Oh my God. Like Dude, why would you want a singles tr cruise and then have a trip boyfriend? Uh, human nature, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I guess you cuff up, dude, and you're like, yeah. this is my man. Yeah, We're going to be in love forever after this cruise. And he's like, bitch, I got a wife at home. <laughs> <laughs> I got a wife at home. <laughs> I just went on a single cruise. Why are you on a single cruise? Because <laughs> hey, he, he had to go on a business trip on this a single cruise. not a business trip. <laughs> this is somebody else's <laughs> business. I doubt that's what it was. <laughs> you were dealing with other business businessmen uh <laughs> and women businessmen. No, uh, i've been <laughs> so the closest thing i've been is like the good time three and if you're from <laughs> if you're from ohio or like that general northeastern area dude, you know it ain't a very good time <laughs> it's just <laughs> the good time is like a fairy it's like the nautica queen <clears throat> now isn't it uh i don't know what it is now i haven't been because it's the one up on oh this is nice dude but yeah, Good Time 3 is basically a fairy. It was like this run-down, just like barely held together. Uh, I don't know who owns it. It has to be like, what do you, not like, uh, somebody owns it, right? I would imagine someone owns the boat, yes. So, I mean, <laughs> but it's not like city. It's not city. It's, it's private. A pri yeah, it's private a private business. business yeah. But it's just synonymous with, like, northeastern <laughs> Ohio. And, like, go. it takes you out on Lake Erie, which is not, like, a... A tropical vista. No, you, no, no, no. It's like a lake of fire, essentially. <laughs> it's, it's like forty percent oil. <laughs> <laughs> you can just like you can just like rub some in your hair, dude. Slick it, slick it back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, forty percent oil, thirty percent fish, and then thirty percent water. And thirty percent fish floating on the oil. <laughs> Ten percent fire. Eight percent smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Two percent charcoal. Human hair. Yeah, yeah. Animal feces. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mercury's in there. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, from all the pollutants. It's a little bit of toxic waste. Oh. Half percent toxic waste. Yeah, at least a little bit. Yeah, dude. And that's the water we would go swimming in as children. Oh yeah, almost. You, you know, odd stories. My mom used to take me to Lakeshore Park in Walmart Beach as a kid. There's the, to the two beaches because we lived on Lake Erie, and. Um, almost every time I went, I would get an ear infection. So she stopped taking me because, like, if I put my head under the water, like, it would get an ear infection. <laughs> oh, come on, run it down. So you would literally get ear infections from swimming in filth water. Yeah. yeah. Uh, probably bacterial infections inside my ear, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, parenting was a different, a different animal back in our day. It was, was a D sometimes, dude. This one time, like, I had this, like, uh, it, it's kind of like athlete's footish. It's like you get, like, a little split under your toe, like, at the base of your toe. I think it's, like, athlete's foot. It's, I think that's essentially what athlete's foot is. Sure, sure. And I was, like, and I show, I remember being, like, eight or something. And showed my mom, like, Mom, I got this little cut under my toe or whatever. And she was, like, oh, go into the medicine cabinet. There's a little glass bottle with this green liquid. Just get a Q-tip and put some on it and put it on there. It was Absorbine Junior, dude. It was like alcohol, and like, <laughs> like all of a sudden I'm screaming in pain in there, and I hear just her and my dad laughing in the living room. <laughs> I was like, I was like, man, that's mean. I still tell you that story, and she laughs every time. I'm like, that's not nice. <laughs> what do you mean? It's funny. Yeah, dude. I uh, I don't even know if they make Absorbine Junior. I'm not gonna lie, you know, I'm I'm a proponent of casual child abuse, and I don't mean like wow. child. No, listen, I don't mean like child abuse that like hurts a kid or like seriously psychologically damages a child. But you gotta make fun of your kids. Right? It's like, oh yeah, yeah. It, uh, <laughs> let me see, what is it? So for a hundred years, Absorbine Junior has provided <laughs> fast, effective, and lasting pain relief for sore muscles, arthritis, and stiffness. <laughs> It is basically some stuff. What's it say? It is, it is? basically uh, some menthol stuff. Menthol and natural herbal ingredients. My parents were hippies. Topical pain reliever. Is it still available? It's been discontinued in the U.S. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Uh, generics have been approved by the FDA, so there might be equipment available. 
Uh, no, nobody's. I've never even heard of that stuff, but yeah, and I'm sure that it was probably things before. You We're out of time. Yeah, it was basically menthol acetone, you know. So it burned like a bee, dude. It burned like a lot. I believe it. Yeah. Yeah, that abuse was nowhere near the verbal abuse I took. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. No. Word me no word me. Technical difficulties, folks. We back. I need a hero. Yep. I'm old now, a hero. This one the is uh, long, long and strong, dude. It's, it's hard. hard. It's very difficult. Hard and long, <laughs> this dude. One is the first not, one was like was, child's play. Yeah, it was like a layup, dude. It was fun times at the kitty park. This yeah, one, dude. Now we're playing 40 minute videos. Like, I wish I wish you guys had seen the freaking sphinx I had to shoot my ball into. But yeah, right the video, into the hole, dude. The video messed up. Yep. <clears throat> Technical, dude. This we were talking about casual child abuse before we <laughs> left. Though, no. I just think that you have to make fun of your kids. I remember my my parents used to make fun of me. Um, m maybe not so much as of force me to put a brace of chemicals on my open wounds, but yeah, yeah. I mean, like, in my parents did too. They they pick. It's like they pick on you, you know. Yeah, because you're stupid. When you're yeah, kid. it's not like they're like, hey, fatty, you know, not like being <laughs> like, hey, ugly, nothing like that. But they'd be like, oh, smooth move. Your parents start harassing you on Facebook or something. <laughs> <laughs> They're just cyberbullying you. <laughs> Mom's cyberbullying me again, Dad. Tell her to stop. Nice shirt, doofus. <laughs> Mom, you put me in that shirt. Why are you making fun of me? Because I want you to look like a bee. <laughs> <laughs> he, he buys everything we He wears everything we buy him. <laughs> what an a hole. <laughs> what a doof. We make him do it every time we be grounded. Don't we make fun of him on Facebook? <laughs> Wear this shirt. Mom, I don't want to. You're a giant pee. <laughs> Clean your room. <laughs> she, mom used to just go in and destroy my room. Be like, room needs clean. <laughs> Make yourself one. It would be great, dude. You like <laughs> your mom and dad just wake you up in the middle of the night and give you a swirly. <laughs> <laughs> you just wake up being waterboarded. <laughs> no, me, no, me and your father love you very much, but but you've been bad. But <laughs> tell us, tell us where you hit the cookies. <laughs> you're talking about you know and honestly if there's anybody out there experiencing any real turmoil or abuse from their parents yes. I, I want you to seek help yeah absolutely yeah. <laughs> but it, we are completely joking but like yeah, i mean we're talking about a very taboo subject but yes do not do not be, beat your kids <laughs> do not beat your kids <laughs> or abuse you're them literally or... telling kids to not beat their kids right dude show your mom that we say not to beat you anymore <laughs> Well, this is, this is going Someone left. needs to stand up for him, right? This, this is this is going off the freaking rails. <laughs> you took it there, dude. I took it you off You talked the about rails. mom cyberbullying kids on the internet. I took it off You the said, rails. I support generic. No, no. I said casual child You're 66 fun. strokes above par. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Three more strokes and I got the perfect amount of strokes. Oh, dude, this one sucks. <laughs> This why one is you, not fun. Why are you mad? You're not even playing it. You I'm can't tell it. me I'm not having fun. I'm having fun. Are you having the fun? Dude? Yeah, so uh, frick you, F Jonas. Off, I'm dude. having a freaking blast over here, all right? Oh, that sounds like... I can't even tell 38 you. 38 minutes into the video on an 18 Oh, part. my God, dude, and I'm having such a good time. <laughs> this is great. I Holy love it so much. Holy freaking crap, man. Oh, my God, the fun just doesn't freaking end, Jonas. It doesn't. I heard that one time. A one time. Uh, a two times. Get in the hole, dude. Birdie. Yes. <laughs> hole in one. All right. Last hole. Easiest hole in the, you in the world. You did get a hole in one on this course. Look at this. I got fire and sh This is amazing. All right. Over here, apparently. Oh okay. My. All right, we're going on a magical journey. Oh, it journey. went through the course. It went through the course, Jonas. They, that's the trick of this Pharaoh's Speaking curse. Of sharding, dude. Well, you got to poop. I don't know. Maybe. Don't tell afraid. me about it. You ever like? Just you know, you're it. afraid. They are like, oh, dude, I don't know. This might be the one. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the one, like the the, the last you one. You want it only, dude? <laughs> like the poop to end all poops. <laughs> the Elvis, dude. 
<laughs> this might be the Elvis. The Thanos of, of craps. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that means exactly, Me but I, I hope sounds, that you survive. It sounds scary. Yeah, dude, I'm a little concerned. Oh. Now, where the hell do I go from here? You gotta got let it bounce and fall. Oh, I have to go down. The, okay, yeah, okay. You gotta go down, dude. It's it's kind of you know it's kind of vague. It's not really. Yeah, there isn't a very good. Uh, make sure you go here. Fall. What the f happened there? It popped you straight up in the air for some reason. Because we don't ask questions. You know, we just we just kind of live the life. Yeah, we that play, dude. We just play the game, dude. We just it's live like, the life that they give us, dude. It's time mm. to play. The, the, did it twice. Time it's, to play the it's game. Fine, dude. It's fine. It's fine. One of my favorite games when I was growing up, Jonas. Uh, Papa Matic Trouble. Oh, dude, I love that game. I yeah. used to like shoot some ladders a lot too. Underrated pop matic trouble. Dude. And then until oh, your here we go. until your dice popper broke and then your oh, how did your dice popper broke? It didn't. I thought you had a dice popper break story. I used to it? play a lot of board games when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I liked playing uh I guess Monopoly was always one of my favorite, but that yeah. that right there, that's three My days. mom would never play it because it took too long. Three days worth of board game. Yeah, right dude. There. That's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe, Crazy Town 12. If you've already done that, hit that notification bell, and we'll be like, hey, your friends did new content. Jonas. Uh, we uh, are uh, all done. Yeah.